So this video was about cord placement. The other videos in this sequence are on all parts of the veneer and crown preparation, provisionalization, seating, all that. So hit the blue link in the description below and subscribe to DentistryMasterClasses.com and see the whole uh, complete comprehensive case as well as lots of other cases and all the Dental Minute videos. So in this case we've prepped four maxillary anterior teeth for veneers and two bicuspid teeth for full crowns. We're going to have videos on all parts of this. So this is the Ginger Plane Z Twist 00, zero non-impregnated and this is the cord I use 99% of the time. We've got some small uh, cords that we'll use occasionally, but 99% of the time I'm using the Ginger Plane Z, -pl Z Twist 00. zero. And then we're placing them in a solution of Siptin, which is a ginger retraction solution that controls bleeding. So we're soaking them in. <coughs> we're soaking them in this hemostatic agent. Now I'm just wiping the teeth with. You can use water, or you can use uh, tubulacid red, something to dampen them. I don't ever want to put gingival retraction cord into a dry sulcus, or it could. Uh, tear the sulcus, the gingival material, <laughs> or it could tear the gingival tissue and make it bleed. Okay, so I'm placing the cord around the full crowns. Now because these are supra gingival on the facial, I don't have to place cord, I'm sorry, it's because these are supra gingival on the palatal, I don't have to place cord on the in the palatal sulcus, just the interproximal and the facial for the full crowns. And you don't have to shove it way into the sulcus. You just want to expand it, open it, so the, the impression material or the scanner can get to the margins of the prep. Now I'm placing them on the veneer preps. This is very important. Only place the cord on the facial to the facial interproximal line angle. I suggest you don't go through, all the way through the interproximal uh, or if you do, just lightly place it into the interproximal sulcus because if you place it very far into the interproximal sulcus on this tooth and do the same thing on this tooth, you're going to squeeze that papilla and you can make it slough. So, you know, cut off the blood supply and make it slough off. So if you do place it very f uh, all the way through the interproximal, just barely place it into the sulcus interproximally. You just lightly into the sulcus interproximally. When you're placing the cord, you want to push it into the tooth. Push it into the tooth so it slides down the tooth into the sulcus. But you can see, you can still see the cord. It's not buried. You just want to open the sulcus. Then this is Luxabite, which we place in the interproximal uh, of the non-prepared teeth and that keeps the polyether with custom tray from locking into those interproximal areas. And this sets up very quickly. Be sure you don't get it on the occlusal surface. So here are the cord and the luxabite. See how the cord's only part way through the interproximal, only on the facial of the veneer preps, just to the interproximal facial line angle. And then on the full crowns, it's just lightly in the interproximal and not at all on the palatal because I have super gingival margins on the palatal. We're going to talk about the full crown preps here in a minute. So I'm removing the cord. Now be sure the cord is wet when you're removing it. If it's dry, you may, it may tear the tissue and cause bleeding. Then this is the, and while, before I squirt this on the teeth, I want to be sure the preps are wet. Remember, polyether is hydrophilic. It likes water. Uh, polyvinyl siloxane is hydrophobic. It does not like water. That's why I'm a fan of polyether. So you can wet the teeth and wet the tissue and it serves as a lubricant so that the wash material goes right down to the margin. Now keep the tip. You don't have to squirt this on the teeth. You can just leave it on the uh, body material. And that's fine. If you do squirt it on the teeth, be sure you keep the tip in 
the material. Don't take it out and put it in or you'll get air bubbles. The other thing you want to do is cut this yellow tip off. The tip is too small and it comes out like a needle. You want to cut it off so you get a bit more of a volume of material out of the tip of the uh, syringe. Then we put it to place. You can refer to the video on how to take the most accurate impressions. This one's on cord placement, so we're not going into that. See, this is a deadly accurate impression material, polyether. So that's the dental minute. These techniques work and they work every time.